My name is Chris Gowen Anderson. I am the author of two books, um, Dear Bonnie, My Life at Lake of the Ozarks, Self-Healing Techniques to Bridge the Gap Between Heaven and Earth. And the other book is Dousing to Heal, Body, Home, Business, and Earth. I am certified in natural therapies, which means that it's my job to help people avoid drugs and surgeries. So today we're going to talk about geopathic stress lines. There are at least 20 different geopathic stress lines, such as the Curry lines. So the Curry lines typically run uh, northwest to southeast, and they circumnavigate the earth every few feet. They're always there. Um, Hartman lines go north-south, and again, they circumnavigate the earth. They're always there. The problem comes when a trauma happens on that line or also when a power station is built on that line. Then the lines become overexcited and can carry chaos, a disease, a detrimental energy for your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body. Um, I have seen these lines. Typically, when you see them, it's out the corner of your eye rather than through the pupil because when something goes in through the pupil, then it gets processed by the brain and the brain decides whether or not it's really there or whether or not you can handle seeing it. But anyway, so when I have seen them, uh, it's out the corner of my eye or out the periphery. Uh, the Hartman lines are green. Curry lines are red. There's also pole lines. Pole lines are water lines that, uh, again, carry detrimental energies such as cancer, lung cancer in specific for coal line, pole lines. There's also black lines and um, brown lines um, where her curry lines and Hartman lines are very straight, very predictable. Brown lines and black lines are m more chaotic. They don't have a, a definite pathway. There's also ley lines. Ley lines are a pathway created by animals and or people, and they have a be beginning and an end. But like I said, there is at least 20 different geopathic lines that can become stressed and chaotic and bring that chaos into your physical body and emotional and mental body. So I found a curry line on my property, and I'm going to show you using applied kinesiology how when you're standing on an overexcited line, the body goes weak. So again, when I look for a line, I use the L rods, and I ask the L rods to show me what they want to show me. Then once I find the line, I ask that to sh in order to find out what kind of a line it is, and I don't know that that's really important, that's just what I do. So then I would ask, well, okay, so I know where the line is that they brought my attention to. So then I ask for a Hartman line, and the rods will either open if that's a Hartman line or not react at all. Then I'll ask if it's a pole line or then curry line. So in this way, I can find out exactly what the line is. So today, I found a curry line on my property that we are going to treat. And I will show you what it does to the body using applied kinesiology. And we'll see if uh, we're able to cure the line. So join me outside. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how I find a line. Now, normally I would do this with two rods, but and then when I find the line, they open. Now, for some people, they close, but I broke my wrist, and so the left hand isn't working. And so I'm only going to do it with one rod, but it still works. So when I, come to, when I walk around the perimeter, I ask the rods to show me what they want to show me. And when I come to this line here, you can see they open up. I'm holding my hand next to my chest to keep as straight as I possibly can and as free as I possibly can. 
So then I ask um, to show me a Hartman line. Show me a Hartman line. Show me a Hartman line. And the rods don't go anywhere. And show me a pole line. Pole line. Pole line. And then I'll say, show me a curry line. And they, they open up. Now I'll show you what happens as a result of having an overexcited curry line going through your body. So this is my husband, Jim. And with him off of the line, <laughs> with both of us off of the line, I'm going to test his strength. So to test your strength, you need to have make a full circle. So this hand is touching him, and this hand is touching him. And um, when, when you're pressing on them, you're, you're right at the bend of the wrist. So if you go too far over, you're always going to get a no. If you go too far backwards, you're always going to get a yes. So you're right at the wrist. Okay, so we're going to test his strength. <laughs> and I can't budge him. So now we're going to have him stand on the line and test your strength. <laughs> okay, so now we have to fix it. There are um, many options. I forgot the ohm, omega inside, and two magnets. So one option is to simply stand on the line and bless it. Um, and when do you bless it? You, I simply drop my thoughts down into my heart, connect with spirit, and uh, you, you, you can pray to whoever it is you pray to. And you just ask for all the traumas that happened on the line to be healed. Now, I've already done that on this line, and it didn't work, so we're going to try something else. So another possibility is to just place a, a straight copper rod on each end, where it enters and where it exits. Or instead of a copper rod, um, I like these Omega. It's, it's a cheap copper wire that's been formed into the Omega. I have two different sizes here. So we're going to try that. Okay, so now if Jim Imagine. stands on the line... All right, stand on the line, and we'll see if we have cured the line. And hold your arm out strong. <laughs> and that worked. We, we can um, stop there. Now, so there may be times where the, you don't want to use the copper rod or the omega. Uh, now, here's an example of the omega. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So you can use any size wire that will hold its shape. Uh, some people will hang this over their electrical meter in order to not lose so much electricity. But there may be times when you don't want to use those. Um, then magnets work. A magnet might be more discreet. Sometimes this stuff is very hard to explain to people. So a magnet uh, screwed to your fence uh, within the bottom 24 inches would be a lot more discreet, a lot more invisible, and you won't have so much explaining to do. Okay, so Jim is here to help me demonstrate how to figure out which is the north side and which is the south side. So first I'm going to um, put this side to his body and hold out strong, and then I'm going to flip it and hold out strong. Okay, so that means that this is the north side. He's strong with the south side facing his body and weak with the north side facing your body. So the same is true with your property or whatever it is you're treating. Um, you want the south side facing in to protect the area that's in whatever you're, you're treating. <laughs> So geopathic lines aren't the only place that will hold on to traumas. Anything can hold on to a trauma. Uh, I was once asked to check out a guest bedroom 
and the rods directed me to a dresser, a beautiful wooden dresser. And I, I had the homeowner and I meditate on what could have caused that. And we both came up with the same scenario where a young girl had um, ran to the tree for protection, but was indeed uh, caught and murdered. So we blessed um, everyone involved and and the tree and um afterwards her guests started getting a much better night's sleep i was also asked to go to a museum and the rods directed me to a, a cabinet filled with medical tools and then um, i needed to know what shelf the the item in question was on and so to do that to for me to ask a yes no question I always have to be in motion. I always have to take a step forward. I know that's not true with everyone, but it is with me. So for me to find out which, which shelf, I would simply ask for a shelf, and the rods would open for a yes and close for a no. So once I found the shelf, then I ask, okay, you can have the rods point to the item or um, first, second, third, fourth item on the shelf. So the item that they pointed to at that time was forceps. So that felt really heavy. Um, lots of trauma possibilities there. And so we blessed the forceps and um, all of the babies that it was used on and all of the mothers. And uh, that went away. Now the same technique, the applied kinesiology that I told, I showed you, where I tested Jim's strength and he was strong, and then he stood on the overexcited curry line that I had, and um, he went weak. Well, that same technique also works on objects. Test a person's strength, and make sure you're doing the proper hold. You have to make a full circle, both hands have to be touching the body. If you, both hands aren't touching the body, then your your question may be answering on your behalf or your um, recipient's behalf. And hand placement is very important. You want to press uh, right at where the wrist bends. And don't slam it hard. You want to approach it gently. And it does take a little bit of practice and and maybe even it takes a little bit of confidence, but don't give up. It's a very valuable tool. Um, another time I was asked to check out a home and the rods led me to a Bible. Um, Bibles are a place where lots of trauma can be stored and stuck because, especially if it's an old Bible, because long ago, People used a Bible to scare the devil out of you. and It was always a very traumatic thing. And uh, as a result, we have many Bibles in people's homes holding lots of trauma. So you can see how this technique can be very valuable. Applied kinesiology can be used to prove dousing. Um, it can be used to show you what kinds of foods are good for you and what kinds of food are bad for you. And um, gosh, I think the sky is the limit as what you can do with applied kinesiology. It's a very valuable tool. And so I hope you'll use this tool to uh, get your house cleaned and your land cleaned as well. Blessings. So a couple of things I just want to reinforce. Um, the dresser that I told you about was a brand new dresser. Now, if it had been an antique, I would have understood it more easily. There's lots of trauma stuck in antiques because there is so many different opportunities for that antique to uh, be in a bad situation. But that dresser was brand new. It, it, uh, so that's why I asked uh, the owner to join me in a meditation. And um, we both did a silent meditation and came up with the same scenario. So that was uh, really interesting for me. Um, also using applied kinesiology, when, when this owner touched that dresser, 
she, her body was, went weak. After we blessed the dresser, she could touch it and remain strong. So that's true with any object that would hold a trauma. If you hold it next to you, you're going to go weak when you bless it. Uh, then you will retain your strength. So you can see how that's just such a valuable tool. There is another way to cure an overexcited uh, geopathic line, and that is using crystals. I can't do a presentation without talking about crystals. So uh, many people would use this uh, crystal point. Now my experience is that this little crystal point works much better than this big piece of Jasper. But please do your own experiments. And you would put it on the beginning and the end of the line or where it enters your property and where it leaves your property. Um, ley lines, the dousing rods. So for, like I said, I broke my wrist, so only my right hand works. But using two rods will often show you a direction. So a ley line often goes one specific direction. Um, and that's, I guess that makes sense. An animal goes, uses this path to go to the water and a different path to go out of the water. I think there's lots of reasons, but um, yeah, crystals. Um, also geodes, if you're lucky enough to have one. A very fascinating thing about geodes, and this is a way to get it even more powerful. Um, it has a direction that it wants to go. So if I hold <laughs> the pendulum, in front of the geode, this direction, the pendulum swings perpendicular to the crystal. So the opposite of perpendicular is parallel. And then going this direction, it stops. So the opposite of stopping is a full circle. Let's see if I can let you see that. There we go. So my theory is that it's the same as the vortices in Sedona. One direction will balance feminine energies, one direction will balance masculine energies, but the full circle balances both. Um, so again, it doesn't take anything really large. Um, there's also geodes with three different uh, sections, and it's so surprising to learn that each section might want to face a different direction. So uh, yeah, have fun with it. And I hope to hear about all of your experiments and successes.